Good evening, everyone. So I've been putting off making this video for a little while. Um, originally, I, I was going to make it a couple weeks ago, but I wanted to make sure that the uh, uh, the hell season was that that the summer 2016 anime had finished up before I made the video and you know comment on it. Also, pre warning, forewarning. Um, there's going, there, I'm going to try and stay away from spoilers as much as I can, but in some of the descriptions I'll give of, of the, uh, 2016 summer anime, uh, it may give a little bit of, bit of it away. Um, but I hate spoilers, especially with anime the most. So I try my best not to spoil anything for anyone because I know how pissed it makes me. So golden rule. But anyways, uh, this is going to be about... Uh, the, the 2016 summer anime, and also my expectations with uh, the upcoming or with the currently airing fall anime of 2016, obviously, and why I like anime so much. Uh, so, as most of you know, I've I'm a anime fiend. Whether you want to call me a weeaboo or or an otaku, it uh, doesn't really bother me. As as Tyrion Lannister says, if you you know wear your wear your faults like armor then people uh p then people can't hurt you with them so but i mean plus I, I really don't get bothered by people calling me names that much i've long since grown out of being offended by most things like that at least when it comes comes to myself personally but anyways um so i, I did a quick google search with uh why other people like anime so much and uh i found one from and i found a uh a list from actually valentine's day of this year um why that's significant i don't know um of why uh people love anime that are in the anime industry so the number one reason i don't know if these are ranked in uh you know like best to worst or will not will Mm, I don't know if these are like ranked in any certain specific order, but number one, uh, they have identity, which I strongly agree with that being number one. Um, there's a whole bunch of stories about people who have never watched anime before, who, who uh, I don't know, just like happened to catch a particular anime or someone recommended an anime to them and it helped them understand themselves better. Uh, there's, um, I think one of the most frequent stories that I hear are people who had to injure someone for self-defense, whether they, you know, killed them or, um, gravely wounded them or they, you know, just had to uh, defend themselves and they, you know, uh, physically harmed another person when that's out of their character or they didn't want to in the first place, but they were forced to because it was either them or themselves. Um, now, whether it's, you know, soldiers at war or people here at home at, uh, in your own home or just on the street or whatever, if someone attacks you, um, which happens a lot more than people might think. A lot of people think that, uh, whenever I say stuff like that, it's, oh, you watch too many movies, but no, it, it happens more than you might, more than you might think, especially in America. It doesn't really happen here in Japan, at least in uh, in the smaller cities, and, you know, Tokyo and Osaka and whatnot, just because there's a bunch of people there, it's, it's, it's just more probable, I guess, it's probably the best way of saying it, but, anyways, back to what I was saying, uh, people that struggle with their own identity, and, and it doesn't even just have, have to be injuring someone, it can be, you know, uh, whether you're, the nerd at school you're not good with talking talking to girls or you're uh or just anyone of of, of the opposite sex um one of the really popular genres is uh slice of life which is um it can have supernatural elements to it but it but like the uh like the tags suggest it's it's more of just like daily life problems like like you know holding down a job going to school uh, family struggles, et cetera, et cetera. And being able to identify with another character or with, with a, uh, with a fictional character, it, 
it gives you the sense of that at, at least one other person out there, you know, is, is going through the same thing that you're going through or something similar to it. So you have someone who can, at the very least, sympathize you, sympathize with you, if not empathize with you. Um, and especially for someone, someone like me, who's, who's, you know, felt, felt like a loner for m most of his life, partly by choice, part, part, partly not by choice. Um, especially being bullied through most of grade school and developing severe, wonderful depression. So, um, which I think, oh, that was number two, which <laughs> conveniently leads me into number two, uh, which they have escapism listed. So, like you just heard me say, uh, being bullied throughout most of my schooling years, uh, I, I long sought escape in a medium that wasn't, wasn't like real life. Cause you know, if you watch, you know, like a regular, like a regular TV show, it's not, it's not anything animated. So you can still kind of, you know, put yourself in that person's shoes or at the very least be able to, you know, recognize where that is. But with anime, because it's animated, uh, it's a lot easier to escape into it, I think, and just completely lose yourself in an entire other world, even if, you know, a lot of anime is based in, or at least has similar locations in Japan. So even though there's Japanese locations, um, it's... It's still not, I guess, uh, it's, not, <laughs> it's not like real life graphics. It's someone actually took the time to, to draw out this scenery and this, and this character. And with the vast amount of different, you know, different settings and whatnot, it's, it's easy to lose yourself in, you know, a dozen different seasons or, uh, with, uh, a, do a dozen different anime whether that's at once or through your uh, career of watching anime, if you can call it that. So, let me see what they have listed. Um, so, they have listed anime as entertainment as Yatatachi founder Kiri Cast Castillo reminds us, if we happen to work long hours at an intense marketing firm or just work as a cashier, there's got to be something that'll let us escape for a while. Whether it's a show like Death Parade, which I highly, highly recommend Death Parade. That was one of my favorite animes in the last, uh, last year or two. Um, Tamayuda, which I haven't seen, I don't know what that is. Or even Ta uh, Tabimachi Late Show. You know, something to take our mind off of the real world. Which, like I said, e even if it's just, you know, you, you watch a, like, one 20-minute episode of, you know, some anime... Uh, every time you come home from work, it's just, it, I think it's easier to relax if you have something that you look forward to watching every day, whether it's, you know, some, some hardcore series anime like Death Parade or whether it's just some, some goofy fun anime like, um, uh, there's one out right now, it's called Psyche Kuso no Sainan, Sainan? I don't know, but it's the the character's name is Psyche Psyche Kuso, um, and he's a kid with overwhelmingly power or uh, overwhelmingly overpowered psychic abilities to where he can alter the course of the world and just by taking out <laughs> one of his little like uh, antenna limiter things. Uh, they're only like four or five or four to six minute episodes. So they're, they're focused more on like, um, short little scenes, but it is, it is honestly one of the most f hilarious anime that I have watched in a very long time. Almost, almost every episode has me in stitches. And, and like I said, it's only a four and a half minute, it's five and a half minute episodes or whatever they are. So they're, so they're real short. Um, instead of curiosity, let me read what they have for, for identity. Uh, so for identity, it says, from films to sports, once we like something, we really like it. While anime has grown in popularity, there was a time where it wasn't, which I can wholeheartedly agree with that. Um, e even when I was in, you know, middle school and, and even high school, even, uh, people, 
who liked anime were ostracized and uh, ostracized and bullied and you know just there there was such a negative viewpoint of it throughout most of high school for whatever reason just because mo other people didn't like it and you didn't fit into some you know s some popular clique or whatever but um anyways uh and as for Lauren Orsini, whose writings you'll find at Forbes, uh, Anon, which I assume is Anime News Network, uh, an otaku journalist, she had trouble connecting with the TV shows and cartoons shown while she grew up in California, which meant it was hard connecting with kids her age, but when she discovered anime, things changed. She found something she could connect with, whether it was in the characters, the story, or the visuals. Funimation is senior manager of social strategy and development. That, that's a that's a huge ass title for your for your job, man. Justin Rojas, I assume that's how you say his last name, believes that what anime does. I believe anime is a medium that brings people together. Whether the content can, or while the content can be extremely diverse, the emotional connection people feel with the anime allows them to bond with others through these shared sentiments and experiences. Though, he adds, anime also creates a sense of uniqueness and, indiv and individuality at the same time. Um, so yeah, that's uh, also just a forewarning for any legal bullshit that comes out of this. This is not my own. All, um, all of these you know, things that I'm reading belong to myanimelist.net. Um, so yeah, not my thoughts. I share the thoughts, but I did not come up with these. I am reading these off of uh, myanimelist.net. So, forewarning any legal bullshit that tries to come from this. But I, you know, I get like 20 views per video, so I highly doubt there's gonna be any legal ram legal ramifications for this. It's just kind of a uh, uh, intro in intro into anime. So yeah, uh, no, number three is visuals, which I definitely agree with. There is so many different kinds of art styles with anime; it's unbelievable. Um, you have everything from you know the um, the purposely you know cartoonish looking things um, to everything from these these absolutely gorgeous visuals, where you where you just wonder how on <laughs> how on earth did someone actually take the time to draw this and even if it's just one scene like it's just absolutely breathtaking there's uh the two studios that come to mind are i'm i'm gonna butcher this pronunciation uh ufotable um and madhouse Mad uh, so one of the things about madhouse is that they they only seem to animate one season whether that's just the spur of the source content, which is either always going to be a light novel or manga, um, or they just you know they just don't like to do second seasons or sequel seasons. That's probably the best way of saying it. Like sometimes they'll animate a second season, um, but they both do absolutely gorgeous and breathtaking uh, animation, uh, which also so the better the animation the more it costs to produce it obviously because it's so time consuming to create such beautiful scenery and beautiful characters and beautiful settings and beautiful visual effects and whatnot um so yeah what they have for visuals is for, for funimation graphics designer michelle sontag i i don't know what what nationality she is so i can't pronounce that last name correctly uh, who's done Blu-ray and DVD designs for Danganronpa, uh, Free Eternal Summer, which the visuals immediately caught her attention. When technical feasts such as Hyoko or Kyoso Giga appear, it looks fresh and vibrant. While we may not notice, or while we may notice the model that's off or something unfinished, we can find ourselves catching our breath whenever, when watching JP get his Trans Am 2000 car, or Trans Am 20,000 car and redline and go as fast as it can. And compared to regular cartoons, it says voice actress Eric, Erica Mendez, uh, who voices, who I assume does the dubbed English voice as uh, Ryuko in Kill la Kill or Nico in Love Live. 
said uh, a breath of fresh air for animation enthusiasts so yeah I agree there's a lot of anime where I even if the story's you know not fantastic I'll I'll just watch it because how gorgeous every episode is and how well put together they are um and and some of the anime you can kind of tell in certain episodes that they didn't uh pay as much attention to the details with certain episodes but um usually those are the episodes where it's kind of like a filler episode or it's just not something that's like dire importance to the story um so they have number four as characters which kind of goes with number one i think personally because you can identify with so many different types of characters in a single anime um i don't know why that's list that i don't know i guess they have that other listed at four is because it kind of ties into identity i guess um but they they have um so the previous person michelle sontag i, I don't know uh we, we connect ourselves to, to the characters and become incredibly invested for example i can't think of one person that calls marge simpson <laughs> their waifu <laughs> uh it's funny some of you non-anime people that are watching this waifu is basically a, a a term for your for your 2d wife so if there's a particular female character that you take a uh, particular interest in and that you you know couldn't do without in life and that's what you would call your waifu um that's my terminology for, or that that's my explanation for it. i'm sure there's a different one but that's 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 how i how i see it uh, Michelle's point is simple. What other medium aside from video games is as intense with its fan fiction, cosplays, fan art, and connection to the characters? Not too many. Especially if we love that character enough to spend months creating a dress or pants going to work or school, or or pants while going to work and work or school. There are many characters that, for one reason, for one reason or another, grab our hearts to the point where we care about them, whether it's some goofy, spiky-haired kid from Dragon Ball with only a pole and a four-star ball left by his dead grandpa or a young girl from Sora Naegino. I've never heard of that anime, personally. With enough passion to fly to the United States from Japan to fulfill her childhood dream, sometimes we get attached to them, and they influence us in most... in in ways most other mediums can't. Um, so going along with that, there's or actually it connects to number five story too. There's a lot of different um, different themes and whatnot, and and different situations in Japanese culture uh, that just don't exist in an, the American culture, or or, or at, at the very least in American cartoons. Um, for example, school is a school is a huge deal here in Japan. Um, like especially for your entrance for the entrance ceremonies, it is an absolutely monumental thing for for Japanese people and for Japanese kids. Um, I, I think that the dropout rate here in Japan is like less than one percent. I think that that's that's how serious school is taken. Um, so just with the the different cultural things, it's uh, it opens the doors for a lot, a lot more diverse and unique characters that that you can you know truly feel attached to. You know whether it's um, at, at the end of a season where you find out that you know this girl's at where this this character that you've been attached to this whole time is nothing more than a doll with fake memories and she breaks down and cries and becomes emotionless and the character that the that she was um that she was mentoring who had, who you know is is an actual doll uh who didn't think that he could you know show actual uh human emotions all of a sudden starts to break down and and just bawl his eyes out you you get emotionally invested in characters like that and you find yourself you know crying along with them or getting angry when when they're angry loving when they're loving uh getting pumped up when they get pumped up so 
the list goes on and on with the different attachments you can form to the different uh, unique characters, which also, the characters also do truly lend themselves to the, the art style as well. Um, the art style doesn't make the character, but it but it certainly doesn't hurt the character. That's probably a good way of saying it. So I'm at 20 minutes, so I think I'll finish up with this one. And I, I think I'll, I'll do my uh, 2016 anime reviews and expectations in a different video because I didn't realize this was, was going to take 20 minutes. Uh, yeah. So number five they have listed as story. Uh, a quote from Finney Chang. I think really it, it's about story. Anime tackles story with deeper emotional and psychological themes that you don't typically see in other types of animation. There's so much variety that it's easy to find something that tickles your fancy, which I live by the rule where I can find an anime that someone will like with almost 100% guarantee. Uh, if you if you tell me what types of anime or just what types of things you, you like in general, like what types of genres, I, I can almost assuredly find you some, some anime that you'll like. Whether that's the only anime... You, you like I still find I still found you an anime that that you took enjoyment in. So, anyways, uh, so furthering their list, uh, okay, sure, there's High School of the Dead, which if you don't know what that is, that's basically um, it's a it's a school anime ish, uh, but they find out that all of the people outside of their school and inside their school have been turned into zombies. Which, there's there's quite a few anime like that, actually. Um, or Demon King Daimo. Or Daimo. Daimo? Daimo? Daimo. Daimo. Yeah, I think it's Daimo. I, I, I've watched it. I don't remember what it is off the top of my head, but uh, my list of anime that I watched is eight entire word pages full, so you can, <laughs> you can understand if I don't remember every single plot line to all, all the anime that, that I've watched, um, which aren't always in it for the story, but they find an audience out there. There's something like Hunter x Hunter, where we're following a kid named Gon as he searches for his dad, but his journey leads us to, leads us to new stories about other characters, good and evil. Or there's something like Attack on Titan, or even this season's current hit, Boku da Gai Inaimachi, or uh, Erased is, is the English title, which I also hi highly recommend, uh, uh, Boku da Gai Inaimachi. And also Attack on Titan, too, I think. They're both fantastic, uh, fantastic recent anime, especially the Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan is gorgeous. As Finny Chang, who created art for a guy online, <laughs> there's there's a throwback. Holy shit! Wow. Uh, and works for places like Fanime or Glue Mobile, I mentioned above. There are so many anime with different stories that you'll likely find another anime set in high school. There's there's a lot of school anime, whether it's the slice of life stuff or or supernatural stuff or harm anime or etchy anime or romance anime. The list goes on and on and on and on and on. Because, like I said before, school plays such an, an enormous role in, in the lives of Japanese people. It, um, it's almost like, um, I wouldn't say requirements for anime, but it's definitely one of those things where you shouldn't be surprised if there's a whole crap ton of anime that had that at least have, have school and whether it's just one episode or it's the entire, the entire show is, is, is based in that high school or in that elementary school or wherever it is. It, it it's usually high school, though. Uh, where the hell was I? Uh, mentioned above. There's so many different stories that you likely find another anime set in high school. Like I said, but maybe it stars some girl who's extremely anti -so anti social or some kid who's not really a, a uh, delinquent but is put in a class full of them. Or you have a former delinquent that happened to be one of the leaders of a gang who's now teaching high school kids. The list is endless. And it truly is endless. There's so many different, um, different unique tropes and themes to Japanese culture that 
you can really mix and match with the different uh, unique storylines that that you can create, or whether it's you know a fan fiction of another one, or it's a completely original idea, or you're you know uh, furthering the work of someone else. You can really find an an endless list of 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 story possibilities and the uh, anime that involve them. But as P, but as blah, 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 but as PR manager of JRPG publisher Ghostlight Games, Ross Brierly points out, there are stories for everyone. Like I said before, I can find an anime for just about anyone. I first got introduced to anime through my interest in sci-fi and fantasy. At the time, while there were quite a few high school or high quality Western live action science fiction series. The options for, options for fantasy were somewhat more limited. So when a friend at university introduced me to a series such as Macross, Full Metal Alchemist, which was one of the anime I, I grew up on, or and Cowboy Bebop, this was what I had been looking for. Good science fiction and fantasy series. From there, his anime taste broadened to new things. So no, we won't like everything, but we'll find something worth watching because anime gives us countless reasons to watch each and every year. So as my video now nears 26 minutes, <laughs> I, only, I only intended this to be like a 15, 10 minute video or whatever. But as a, a, anyone who's been watching my videos, if there's any of you even left out there, uh, these never go anywhere near as short as I want them to be. But I guess it's, you know, if you've made it this far, then you probably don't don't care how long my videos are so thank you for watching them and putting up with my rambling as it usually winds winds down around this point and it turns into rambling usually around the five minute mark but basically to sum it up identity you can identify with uh a number of different characters because of the absolutely endless character possibilities and the different, also, the different story combinations and the different characters which lead themselves into unique situations to where, you know, the antisocial kid can, you know, find a, find a shared interest with, you know, the most popular kid in high school or elementary school or whatever it happens to be. Um, escapism. So just being able to travel to a different world for 20 minutes every day or 40 minutes or 50 minutes or three hours every day just to escape your you know uh grueling real life job or grueling work schedule or whatever whatever your burdens are from the real world you can escape to another one for whatever amount of time you would like and lastly the visuals to where it's a it's truly an art form with what some of these people create, or with what most of the people create, because there's so many different types of art styles with anime. It's uh, it, it's a wonder that they get released this fast, even too. Especially if the same studio is working on you know an anime every year, it, you have to wonder how how all these people get the get these gorgeous visuals out in you know less than a year, even so. Thank you for watching. Like I said, I will post my uh, review of summer 2016 anime and my expectations for fall 2016 anime in a another video because I'm now nearing half an hour. <laughs> so, uh, thank you for watching. Be sure to follow, subscribe, like, and comment, whatever you want to do. It uh, doesn't really matter. I kind of just do these for fun. I'm not looking for any sort of, you know, uh, mm, payment for these, I guess just kind of a look into my mind and my life in Japan. So, like I said, uh, thank, thanks for watching. Be sure to comment below if you want me to cover a certain anime or if you just cover any topic, really. Um, I'm posting this at 9 o'clock at night here, so it'll be up for your viewing during the day on uh, Wednesday back in the States. Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday back in the States. So... 
Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. And uh, I will see you whenever I post my next video because I don't post these on a schedule anymore. So, yeah.